Hi traders, I'm May Brock from Traded. Thank you very much for joining this video. It is a recording of my live trading session. You will be able to see all of my trades. The market is just about to open. I'm just about to trade. You will be able to see everything, my PL, the trades I pick, my mindset as a professional trader, and you will be watching everything I do just as if I was your personal mentor. So you're just sitting here watching my screams and hopefully it will be extremely educational for you. So I do hope you will enjoy. If you like this video, please hit that like button right over here. It helps my channel and I will appreciate that because it helps more people to learn more about day trading. And there's also the subscribe button right here. So hit on that too in order to be, to be notified of my future uploads. So the market is open now. Let's start trading. And don't forget, this is a live channel in which you can join each and every day for free. Hi traders, good to see you all. Market is open. I'm watching these one minute candles here at the beginning of the trading session. Looking for movers as usual. You can see that FSLR is up 15%. Should have been my main candidate today, but it already moved up. No reversals. On the other hand, Tesla is looking quite interesting. And I'm going to go long over 175.60. I'm posting it in the trading room. Okay, watch Tesla. It's getting close. Stock is up 1.9%. That's where I take the partial coming up. Anything under 86.10, and I will take the partial on BABA to start the day. I'm long Tesla. It's a nice reversal. It should be a gap and go. The stock is up more than 2%. Market starts up. The S&P starts with a gap up 0.33%. NASDAQ starts also up 0.27%. So we are starting up today. It's a nice, interesting move in Tesla. What was a green candle in the S&P now turned slightly red. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of Tesla. But at the beginning of the trading session here, this is extremely dangerous. could turn around very, very easily. Nasdaq is still in green territory, moving up. I'm waiting for another high in Tesla. The thing is, normally when you get to that point where you take a trade at the beginning of the trading session, you really want to have your partial at the first one minute candle as it was moving higher. Now waiting for the second or the third becomes extremely dangerous. If it fails to move higher here, I will need to take very quick, very small partial just to make sure I'm on the green side, which is what I'm about to do and doing it right now. I took an extremely small, extremely small partial in Tesla just because I'm concerned that Tesla may move down. On the other hand, if it moves over 176.50, I'll be happy to add. Traders, here's our first trade of the day. It's going to be a real nice winning trade on Bubba. I'm going to take three quarters of the trade off right here at 86.06. Almost a buck from the first trade here on Bubba, B-A-B-A -B -A on the short side. I'm adding now to Tesla again. It did to choose to move higher. And I hope it's going to move over the highs now. 
Guys, I'm about to short Meta. I'm shorting it right here under 23560. Sorry, I didn't have time to post it in the room. Still there. You're welcome to join. Meta is relatively weak. I noticed it uh, pre market time. And now the SP is also moving slightly lower. Take a look at the daily of Meta. It's rather strong, but pre-market time it was weak, and I think it's likely to come down. JD also looking good for a short. 36.50 is the lows, but I want to stay away right now. Don't want to increase my risk. Okay, here comes Bubba on the 86 now, looking for my second trade of the day. FSLR on a pullback, perhaps. Here comes a new high in Tesla. I'm just looking at AMD this morning. Did you post FSLR today, Scott? I posted, I, I have not posted FSLR, and the only reason I didn't is because it's a rocket ship straight up. Yeah, I said that we need to pull to the back upside. even in the pre-market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like it though. I do too. Yeah, but I guess we better stay away. Yeah. I want to go long FSLR or really two fifteen forty. Not sure I have the time to post it. Yeah, I would do NVDA. I'll post it here. Let's see what it does at 286. Uh, I'll post it at 287. It's going to be a very, very small size for me because it's a huge mover today. Actually, over 215.40. It's more like a scalp in FSLR. Oh I expect it to spike to a new high. Getting ready to go long FSLR. Watching the sellers at 25 now. There we go. I'm long. The highs is 216. And I expect it to spike over. There we go. Now let's see how far can it go. You want to take a quick partial here, it's a scalp. Come on, come on, come on. Do your trick. Now, took my partial in FSLR and taking my partial here in Tesla as it reached a new high. Okay, so I guess I could call it a good start. On the other hand, Meta's doing nothing. I mean, it did move down, but not enough for partial. It is trending lower, and I hope it's going to continue. Now, I don't normally trade $6 stocks, but I'm watching IONQ here for a short under 642. has the volume over 2 million shares. It 
it is down 8% so it could be a gap and go it failed to move higher it has the classic pattern of a gap and go and that's what I like about it I don't expect more than 20 cents or so actually could do it under 643 could go short under 643 I'm short I O N Q again I do not expect much S&P at a new high we have the trend which puts me in a tough position possibly with Meta because now it's clear that the market is moving up you're still watching NVDA for a possible long here do not have confirmation on it you can walk in the SPY as mayor says I'd like to see it get in gear for sure yes Apple new loan that's interesting it could push the Nasdaq under the lows and the S&P could fail Amazon's looking weak Microsoft just broke down come on Meta join the party fail come on FSLR join the party also come down give us a chance to go long I know Mayor went long right at the top on the top side breakout I'd like to see this pull back a little bit more FSLR looking for a new high it's very very strong today it's up 18 percent this should be the turning point of Meta if it's not going to be the turning point of Meta I will have to move out of this trade right over the recent highs here around 236.15 something like that the S&P is going sideways we did touch a new high but we are going sideways which is kind of interesting There's plenty of stocks which are coming down right now and again I'm watching Apple which is a good indication to what the Nasdaq may do Apple is trending lower very clearly you always need to watch Apple Apple should be one of the stocks you always always watch now take a look at Microsoft it's coming down very strong and if Apple and Microsoft are coming down well Nasdaq just may see a new low soon well nothing like FSLR continues to go straight up so we're waiting for this pullback possibly NVDA just coming into the trade right now again I'm long this trade here at 287 small share size to start plan to add here here comes Meta I want to see new low for partial actually at the lows is also good there we go getting ready for a partial under the lows come on come on come on come on come on come on you can do it you can do it yes thank you thank you meta there you go getting ready for a partial in meta now took my partial in meta starting my day with uh, three winning trades hoping I O N Q will join the party so far it's just going sideways doing nothing okay S&P is under the loss as could have been expected by the downside move of Apple Microsoft wow, now, FSLR could care less. now Meta too yeah but it's a good idea to reduce size Scott and I'm going to do that right now I'm doing it yeah. it will find some gravity soon because the market's coming down it's it's likely to be influenced 285.78 will be my stop on NVDA 
Actually, 285.50 will go to. Wow, Meta. I'm about to cover some more size on this beautiful, beautiful breakdown. Covering now. I, O, and Q just turned green. Let's see how far can he, this one go. I'm always trying to, you know, consider shorting stocks or going long stocks under $10, which I normally don't do. They are very, very hard to expect. Very hard to understand their moves because there's very few institutional traders who can trade them. Actually, 90% of institutional traders do not trade stocks under $10. That's why these are extremely difficult stocks to trade. Extremely hard to expect the next move. The rules that do apply to stocks like Meta and Tesla and FSLR many, many times do not apply to stocks under $10. But every once in a while, I need to be reminded why I do not trade them. So <laughs> excuse me for being pessimistic here, but I just like the technical formation so much I couldn't ignore it. But I'm still looking uh, to find out if I've done a wrong move here or not. So far, it's down just a few cents. But I'll be very, very happy for a partial there. Okay, so the market did what it's supposed to do. Because we started with the gap up and then we moved down in the direction of closing the gap. There's a lot of stocks which started up today, of course. The S&P starts up. That means that the average of the 500 biggest stocks starts up as well. And when a stock is starting up over yesterday's highs, institutional traders are selling because they're getting extra commission. And they stop selling when the gap is closed. But when you have a big gap up, you don't really expect the gap to close. You expect it. You expect the S&P to move down in the direction of closing the gap and then bounce up, which is exactly what we're seeing right now. So I will not be surprised if we've just seen the low of the day. And we did what we're supposed to do. We did come down in the direction of closing the gap. But we have to remember that the S&P is in green territory. We are up 0 0.22. So let's see. If the market's going to move now under the recent low, then we will have what is considered to be a trend. Look at the way Tesla recovered just because of a very small green candle. But since I don't trust it, look at the way it came down earlier. I'm going to sell here a little bit more, 100 shares more, and just hope that the last 100 shares will do here comes well. comes the spy. Now, Here's I'm going to post a Boeing trade here, 202. Boeing, BA. The S&P. Consumer sentiment at 10 a.m did not come down to close the gap and did not close the gap but on the other hand if you look at the Nasdaq the Nasdaq did come down and close the gap and again many many times the point where the market closes the gap is the point of reversal and I think again this could be the law of the day Now Scott's planning to go long Boeing. I am long Boeing right here, BA. Okay. Yeah, I'm still still long the NVDA trade. You know it spiked down here. I'm still holding on to the trade. FSLR does not quit. Wow. Uh, Google, um, Google long, you know, it's up 0.2%, so it's doing okay for today. I do like the daily. The daily is a bit extended to the upside. We had a beautiful, beautiful breakout. And we talked about it here in this trading room a few days ago. And I did trade it twice. Now, 
normally if we do not get a big pullback and it does not seem like we're getting it today then a continuation is more likely so both directions are interesting one is for the short side possibly under 116.60 because this could be the pullback day the other is long over 117.05 or so I don't think I want to play this game to be honest I don't think I want to play this game I would rather look for a long in Google than for short but I don't I'm not sure I want to trade it at all class just notice that the daily is a bit extended and there's really two options here Tesla new high I did not trust it FSLR new high wow look at FSLR yeah just screening to the top now just doesn't stop one small red candle in there no it doesn't it will it will stop but not, not right now now IONQ reminds me why I do not like to trade six dollar stocks <laughs> as I mentioned earlier cannot be predicted I'm just watching Going Google here I'm not taking a short or a long I just wonder what's going to happen and I'm also watching the S&P which of course everything will be dictated today according to the S&P again watch the S&P the way it came down and reversed there well traders thank you for watching this video I appreciate the fact that you joined me sitting right here by my side and watching my screen which I believe is the best way to learn trading as if I was your personal mentor if you liked it please hit that like button and subscribe right over here hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and there's plenty of links right here below so you can subscribe to my channel and also join my live trading room for a free 14 day trial this channel is also my live broadcast so every day I'm posting my live trading session here and my picks and my ideas so feel free to join for free each and every day as you can see my end result is just up over $3,500 I'm still long FSLR over $1,100 and a little bit down this could be my only loser today $575 in IONQ so three winners one loser and the end result is around four grand just over four grand so thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video bye bye